welcome back to another video. If you want to select between Filmora 12 and Adobe Premiere Pro then this video is for you. In this video we will do comparison between Wondershare Filmora 12 versus Adobe Premiere Pro. Its features, difference between both and many more, in details. Stay connected till end this video will clear your all queries. Interface Filmora 12 has a simpler interface that is more intuitive to use. User can change workspace according to his ease in both Adobe Premiere Pro and Filmora 12 but Adobe Premiere Pro has a more complex interface with a lot of tools and options. This can be overwhelming for beginners, but it gives experienced users a lot of flexibility. As we talk about user ratings, Filmora 12 has ratings of 4.5 out of 5 and Adobe Premiere Pro has 4.7 out of 5. Filmora 12 has some new features like AI Smart Cutout, AI Audio Stretch, Silence Detection and Auto Reframe etc. I will show you its working in end. Here are some more advanced features of Filmora 12. You can read them. Adobe Premiere Pro also have many features some of them are motion graphics, color correction, speech to text, also, you can do movie and film editing. It does not bound the user. Size. The size of Adobe Premiere Pro is 3.39 GB. The size of Filmora 12 is 1 GB. System requirements. The system requirements for Filmora 12 are mentioned. You can pause the video see them. Now let's have a look on both video editors in detail. Let's start with Filmora 12. As we open Filmora 12 we see instant mode, auto reframe, instant cutter, screen recorder, noise detection and auto beat sync. I will open new project. One of the good thing about Filmora 12 is that it is user friendly software with a lot of stock media, means you don't have to open stock media websites on your browser. You can access them directly from here. Pexels, Pixabay, Unsplash are everyone's favorite websites for stock media footages. You also have access to non-copyright audio in Filmora 12. There are a lot of templates, effects, 3D text, transitions and stickers available here. You can use them in your videos for free. Let me show you one template. You can render preview. After that you can import your own clip in it. We can adjust audio, video, transition and music in the template. Here are some video clips of Filmora 12. After these we will move towards Premiere Pro. Many people have questions. Which is the best video editor for beginners? Filmora is the best video editor for beginners. You don't need any prior experience to make high quality videos. Filmora offers instant mode, preset templates, and auto beat sync to make a video in a few steps. Filmora also has green screen keyframe, as well as plenty of features and effects that are easy to use. There are also a lot of options in Adobe Premiere Pro. There are presets, audio transitions, audio effects, video effects, video transitions, color grading and many more advanced features. Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro has an extensive library of effects and transitions. This includes both basic and advanced effects. Tools, Adobe Premiere Pro has a wider range of tools for video editing, color grading, audio editing, and more. This includes features like motion tracking, 360-degree video editing, and VR video editing. Filmora 12 has a more basic set of tools, but it still includes the essentials for video editing. Filmora 12 is filmmaking software. Choice is yours. Whether you choose Filmora 12 or Premiere Pro, both are great softwares for video editing. I hope this video will be helpful. Like, share and subscribe to Jugar Expert. If you have any question let me know in comments section. Thanks for watching.